So we'll have our uh, sip. Our painting here. Okay. Now you notice I've got a very straight horizon line. And how I do that? So we're gonna go thirds, a third, a third. So we'll start on doing the sky here. So we've got our tape in so we can paint the sky down to the uh, tape. So what we're going to make first is pink. So pink, we're going to need some white and red. And then to make up the pink, it's just a little bit of red that we need to make it up. But we're going to make up a fairly hot pink because when we dilute it with the water, we pull the colour up, it does lose some of its um, brightness to it. So we'll just grab a little bit of red there and put it in with some white and we'll mix up a fair little bit. We'll have, you just use some concentrate, maybe a little bit of water and we'll just put in that horizon line across on that tape. So it's a great way to get a nice straight horizon. So we'll put that in fairly well, concentrate, and then we'll start using water to spread that color up into the, uh, the rest of the painting there. So now I'm using a bit more water and spreading it out. So I'm just using water here, adding more and more water. Just keep on spreading it up. And that's where it does take out a little bit of that color when it spreads it out. You can always add a bit more concentrate paint on there and then keep on spreading it up into the sky so it's quite a, a nice afternoon sunset with this one so we've got those nice colors going from an orange down to yellow and then if the pink does hit the yellow it turns to a nice apricot color so I don't mind that either and then we've got our vibrant blue color around the island so yeah I'll just be going through all this step by step showing you what to do so normally i just sort of say try and keep up or um, i don't think you'll be able to work ahead but sometimes we have some quick painters and manage to work ahead of me anyway so i'm using a fair bit of water here it's diluted my paint right down but that's fine because I, I will be going from the pink into a white before i do hit the yellow and that makes a little bit of a golden color through there as well so i paint this up a fair way like at least half of that sky just keep on spreading it up just keep on using water to keep on stretching it up and then once we uh, I, I get to a fair sort of degree I then will start on the orange and come back down and meet in the middle there so I'm just using a fair bit of water it doesn't matter if you actually wet the um, paper a fair bit because that's how the paint does spread is with the water and uh, that's the whole idea of watercolours. Don't worry about if, if your paper starts rippling up. That always happens with watercolours. And then it's going to dry out. When it dries out, it will flatten out a bit. Or you can always flatten it after anyway. So that's fine. So that's just a 120 GSM paper out of a, a, um, a card book. Or a paper book, drawing book. Yeah, so just uh, now I'm putting in some white there as well. So I've, I've got it going from a real, you know, like fairly vibrant pink into a white and then we'll work on doing the orange so to make orange we need red and yellow so we'll put out some red and some yellow we'll need a fair bit of that there anyway and I'm just putting out some extra white but yeah we'll have a little sip between colors there so uh, always forget the sip so we'll, uh, yeah, have the yellow there as well for the orange. Hey, I hope you've been enjoying the paint and sip session. These are actually paid sessions, so you've just had a bit of a taster of the first part of the session. You can go online and just purchase the balance of it, and I've got a whole heap of variety of paintings available, so basically you can get a really good deal. Okay, cheers.